Butts, nuts, butts, 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 nuts, 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 butts, butts, nuts, nuts, butts, 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 nuts, nuts, butts, 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 nuts, nuts, butts, 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 nuts, 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 butts, 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 butts. Wow. I'm so sad that song is over. <laughs> I was, yeah. I, was pumping, I was pumping my fist the whole time. <laughs> uh, is, is, is this just the next hour? Is this that... is our number eight of Garbage Day. We are at a total, currently, a running total of $7,254.20. I want to thank everybody so far who has donated. It really, it really just makes this whole thing, uh, I mean, it's still horrible, you know, but it's a, but it's a worthwhile horrible. And we really, really, really do appreciate it. Um, as you may or may not be aware, uh, the last time uh, that we did this, uh, we had a total uh, nearing uh, $22,000. It was it was 21000 There was a 420 and 69 there somehow. Uh, yeah, uh, $21,569.69 uh, was our total. And our, well, one of many goals. But but one of our goals is to beat that number. And if we beat that number, what are you going to do, Frank West? I am going to devote an entire Saturday to playing a video game called Ilum, which I believe you can see a screenshot of on screen, um, which is described as an open world game in ancient Babylon with elements of action exploration and city destruction, voice acted in Akkadian language in a biblical and Babylonian mythological background. Uh, it is the only game I've ever seen where the buildings can ragdoll. Um, <laughs> and uh, as a little bonus incentive, I'm just going to say it. Boots will owe me $20. <laughs> Boots actually will. That's true. Yes, yeah, I will hold up to that. Boots will owe you $20 for that. That Excellent. is true. <laughs> uh, so $22,000 and over we get... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, in the chat, Boots. <laughs> uh, so uh, twenty-two thousand dollars makes Frank West pay pay Ilum, and of course, uh, Boots Boots Rain Gear will pay him for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've got plenty of other fun, and uh, one of those pieces of fun is, you know, uh, thanks so much to uh, to Pooner and the Sniz. Uh, sorry that you guys keep getting fired. It's a it's a real tragedy. But um, but what we've got here uh, is a document. Um, that I have called uh, uh, Perfectly Normal Stories of Perfectly Normal Swingers. Uh, and the document submitters, Curly H Hooligan and Rect Rise, uh, have titled, uh, And Everyone at the Orgy Applauded! <laughs> Um, so we're going to be uh, looking at uh, fun and I'm sure very, very, very true stories uh, from swingers. And I think we're going to be I think we're going to be entertained uh, and I think we're going to be uh, delighted. So so I think. Um, uh, I think we're going to start off here. Uh, so, Healy's, mm -hmm. um, your name is... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I didn't expect yeah. your name. Your name is Wheatgrass Feetgrass. <laughs> oh, is that, is that right? <laughs> yeah, Wheatgrass. Wheatgrass underscore Feetgrass. But I just have a question I wanted to ask you, uh, Reddit. Um, uh, so my name's, uh, my name's uh, Emmett419, and I, I wanted to know... My wife and I will be going to our first swingers resort. And I've been wondering what must go through the minds of the people who work there. The waiters and the maids. Sorry? Okay. <laughs> All right. The waiters and the maids, etc. For example, number one, what do you think about swingers in general? Do you envy them? Pity them? You do you? Quotation mark, question mark. Number two. You see people having sex all day. Does it bother you? Number three. How much of what you see do you share with other people in your life? Spouse? Friends? Do you come home with stories you just can't wait to share? Number four. You've seen it all. 
what advice would you share with people who are considering going to a swingers resort? And finally, number five, how quickly does it become just another job? Well, I'm I'm wheatgrass, feet grass. Um, <clears throat> my wife and I accidentally went to one before we were married for our two year anniversary. That was six years ago, and I haven't let her plan a vacation on her own since. The irony is, we actually are swingers, kinda, but we are also lesbians. Okay. Those kinds of places are mainly for straight couples. At one point, we had a line of drunk straight married chicks licking our boobs in the pop <laughs> pool. So that was fun, I guess. A whole line of them. Like, did I they guess. tap each other out? Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> They're licking our boobs. <laughs> oh, and then, and then, uh, Bump Girl, uh, you just take that, uh, just another thought, if you would, please. Wow, this, this this is this is me. This is truly me. Yeah. I have so many questions, I don't know where to begin. Well, someone put something on our chest for these two French ladies to lick off for a laugh. I think we were trying to teach them about body shots. Well, some other woman saw and wanted to turn and create an impromptu conga line of ladies licking our boobs. <laughs> um, it was either tequila or whipped cream. I can't remember. This is very One of those similar. Two very similar substances. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knew we were gay together, so no men tried or even Ooh, asked, which yeah, was surprisingly respectful. Yeah. Given the environment and drunkenness of everyone present. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, uh, in this very same thread, uh, JT, uh, your name is Meow Kiss Me. <laughs> okay, I am Meow Kiss Me. So for the past two years, my winter job is working banquets and parties at a hotel. Every year we host the local swingers club for their annual New Year's Eve party. 140-ish people, three bars, cage dancers, and a whole lot of titties. Mm. And some wieners. They're awesome. Great tippers, and they all have an Titty. amazing sense of Titty. humor. Wieners, wieners, <laughs> titties, titties, crits, crits, crits. <laughs> I've never seen an altercation between any of them. They literally just want to have fun with whoever. <laughs> Huge age differences, too. As young as 20 and as old as 70. I never Great. openly... Yeah, that sounds really cool. Love that. I never openly saw any sex, just some blowies and people getting their fingers wet. You. <laughs> because they're Ew. dipping them in their drinks. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. In their tequila yeah. or whipped cream. In the, yeah. the, they can't tell the difference between. <laughs> and then, uh, J.W. Friedman, uh, your name, I'm going to paste it in the chat. I guess it's Graw Rant? Graw Rant, maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Graw Rant. Get it right. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. Uh, of course, there are no altercations. If someone is cool with someone else banging their significant other, what in the world could upset them? Like, if not that, what could really get in their nerves? Hmm. I hope nothing gets in their nerves. <laughs> Sand. Shingles. That's <laughs> <laughs> actually, uh, I, I had another one there. Can you look for more Graw Rant? There's another one that I wanted. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, there's. I, I talk a lot about yep. swinging. Um, yep, yep, yep. Actually, to be honest... Is this the one? Actually, nope. to be honest, no, it was uh, my. Oh lady, my goodness, my lady. My yeah. la oh, oh yeah. Well, yep. this is yep. this is true. Yep. My lady wasn't allowed to give head to anyone but me, and no come inside anything but a condom, which must be worn. Actually, pretty standard for open relationships. It was really just us fucking each other's friends, except <laughs> she liked girls and I didn't like guys. So I got a ton of threesome slash orgies with me being only guy. <laughs> Fun uh, couple uh, years. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Edit so many typos. <laughs> okay, come quads up. Oh yeah, yeah. Your Hello. name, your name is uh, your name is Stony Baloney. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know, Stony Baloney? I am Stony Baloney. I used to tend bar at a swingers club in South Florida. I would tend bar topless on Sunday is, and I met my current boyfriend's father there eight years ago. Ask me anything. 
Um, Wait, I, uh, what? No, I don't really have I any questions for you there, Stoney. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm, Q1, I've messed around with a few women in front of their husbands for fun, but I was telling everyone I was gay yeah, no, mm. while I was there because mm. I wasn't comfortable sleeping with anyone's husband, honestly, but I have no personal problems. Oh, there's more. Uh, with what... <laughs> <laughs> Period. Send. Yeah. With what consenting adults do in their private time, they have a lot of fun and a sense of friendship and family that you can't oh. imagine unless mm. you try it. Mm. Mm. I don't no. want. Nope, I'm not going to try. <laughs> no. Cute too. No, it never bothered me seeing people have sex in front of me. Sometimes it turned me on. Q3, yes, I love sharing stories with close friends, super spicy and interesting. Q4, be friendly and kind. Bring your favorite friendly drug weed, E, G, H, B, and go with a social mindset. Q5, it never became just another job. Every day I went into work, I couldn't believe the shit I was seeing and even partaking in some time. I was 22 when I started working there and around 24 when I left. No regrets, nothing but fond memories while there. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Achilles, uh, you found a, you found a very good username. I think I'm going to take that one for myself, if that's yeah. all right. Because uh, you're going to fall in love with this guy. You're going to live. You're going to like this guy. Uh, my name's Cruel Hand Luke Seven. <laughs> mm. I was not the first one to that name. Uh, yeah, so uh, not a swingers club per se, but in my mid twenties, I bartended some private BDSM parties, and trust me, I've seen my share. To answer your questions that I just know that you're asking. Yeah. I like a little of the old kinko once in a while, so it didn't bother me. I was focused on doing my job. I got paid super well with lots of tips. I was clearing over 500 for a five-hour night. I didn't specify dollars, so who knows. Every once in a while, someone would something would catch your attention. You think, oh, neat, and go back to work. Boobs. <laughs> really cool. Uh, number three, my roommates thought I had the coolest gig in the city. And there were more jokes at the beginning. Number four, if you're the guy, make sure you're okay with a much more athletic body and a much larger dick fucking the holy hell out of your wife in ways that you thought impossible. If there's even a doubt, don't go. Otherwise, you're going to be spending a lot of time at the bar being passive aggressive to me. <laughs> uh, I, and then number five, I'd say after the third party I bartended, I'm there to do a job and I was busy doing it. To add one of the biggest perks after the third time I was there was the hostess let, the hostess let me fuck her. Yeah, right? Mm. Yeah. 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 Hey, how about yeah. that? He let, she let me fuck her when I, was, when I was setting up. So I was actually laying out the tablecloth. Mm. fucking her at the same time she let me um i would have been 24 and she was 44 so her husband knew and he was in the next room his only comment like sounds like somebody's starting the party early good time good time um okay and then uh so there's uh there's plenty more uh from this uh from this subreddit but uh i'm, I'm scrolling down I, i'm looking just at, at at all these different uh threads and and all of them are very very believable um <laughs> um uh the there's a username of uh hate cops and cats which is funny to hey, me fuck <laughs> you how about the, the cats <laughs> i needed to qualify my my yeah, 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 knee jerk yeah. response yeah 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 uh anyway uh but but we're gonna scroll past that one because uh, this thread here is uh uh, I am a female who has been a swinger once since I was 18, pick included. Boo. So, uh, Bump Girl, uh, your name's Young Swap. Why don't you take that? I hate the term swinger, hence the quotes, which aren't actually there. No. My boyfriend and I have been together for over five years. Two weeks into the relationship, we decided to attend a swing party with no expectations of having sex. That's odd mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. since that night we've been involved in a number of experiences ranging from threesomes to foursomes to moresomes smiley face some of our more interesting experiences have involved a gangbang blindfolded semi-anonymous sex bdsm clubs and a glory hole okay okay 
We're both in our 20s, college educated, uh, professional jobs, actually in quotes this time. Basically, we're very normal and no one would expect us to be swingers. Ask me anything. P.S. If you happen to live in the Seattle area and are interested in swinging, we'd be happy to meet up and introduce you some people and parties. Proof. It's hard to provide proof and remain discreet. We're open to ideas that keep our anonymity oof, intact. Oof, and then oof. I posted a photo, apparently. Oof. I'm not clicking that. Mm, yeah, well, it's not, it's not very interesting. It's fair tits. It's fine. Well, my, my name's Mastodon15, and I think the pick included really helps to draw the readers in. It worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Young Swap responds. <laughs> I win, Winky Face. <laughs> Yay! You're going to get your Reddit gold. Very cool. Um, hello, I'm Atheist101. <laughs> oh, good. What a course. Uh, um, judging from your picture, you evolved from swinger status to orgy status. <laughs> okay, right, all right. I like just like a Pokemon. I like, I like, I like you. Um, actually, in other people's orgies. Yeah. Uh, then there's just uh, Reddit being real nasty. <laughs> In general, yeah. yeah, this this is mean. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm starting to think that evolved from swinger to orgy might be kind of <laughs> along these same lines. <laughs> so instead, uh, we're going to move uh, to a different subreddit called r slash slutty confessions. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a slutty confession, and there is no bigger slut than I can think of than JT. So JT, uh, your bedrock eighteen. Uh, you actually are one of the moderators of the subreddit. What you got there? All right. So when my husband was out of state, I got invited by some in the know friends of mine to a swingers Halloween party. And of course, it was adult themed. As I'm an architect, I went with what I knew. Construction boots, a tool belt and little else. Turns out being a six foot one, 38 double F chested blonde girl makes an awful lot of friends. Double F chested. All right. Yep, yep. It sounds, sounds legit to me. Mm -hmm. I had a total of nine strangers fuck me at one end or the other. And everyone seemed to comment on how my ring looked wrapped around their cock or gripping mm. my tits. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, what, wait, what wait, is wait. the ring? The ring. Yeah. The ring. I mean, I can imagine I there being rings. <laughs> But I I can't imagine them gripping tits. It, yeah. There was a Part ring that was either wrapped around a cock or it was gripping my tits. It was one of those two. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm East Bluff. Well done. As an engineer, I would have been proud of you for accomplishing this difficult task. <laughs> oh. oh, he doffs his cap, my pip, lady. Pip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. All right. Uh... Uh, next one here. Actually, uh, I'm not doing this out of the dock because I just found this one uh, looking through and it's got uh, 1.5 thousand upvotes. Uh, what you got there, J.W. Friedman? Oh, hang on one second. Mm -hmm. uh, I must be 18 to view this community. Well, that's going to be a problem. Ah, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, folks, this is uh, after dark, um, so oh. be sure you're oh. of age. Oh, like a like a flying toaster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my good girlfriend, female 22. A couple weeks ago, I was in bed with my boyfriend, drawing circles on his chest, and he asked what he was getting for his birthday. I joked, a threesome. He perked up, so I gave him a slap and said, I'm joking. But I said, <laughs> Is this a John Krikvelewski character? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know who that is. Okay. Little does he know. I've actually been planning a threesome with my bestie the whole time. We had a girl's night, and as you probably know, us girls love talking about sex. We got tipsy <laughs> and showed her a video of me. Real. <laughs> we got... Hey, I'm just a girl in the world doing girl things. <laughs> like... <laughs> we got tipsy and I showed her a video of me and him having sex. I was getting properly choked out in it, and she let out an, oh my god. It was so obvious she liked it, so I asked if she wanted to join us. It took a couple minutes to talk her into it, but we both found it <laughs> so exciting. Fast forward to today, and we just sent a picture of us on the kitchen table with our tits out to him while he's at work. His reply was, holy fuck. I bought Holy him the new fuck. Call of Duty. Nothing gets me going like Call of Duty. 
Wait, well, I bought him. <laughs> Hang on. It's Let hard. me be ready for that. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. <sighs> I bought him the new Call of Duty, got him his fab drinks, <laughs> plus sweets, and left him a card with condoms in it. We spent ages planning this out for him, so I do hope it goes well. Smiley cry face two times. Update. My boyfriend just texted us. He's on his way home, and we better get ready for him to fuck the brains out of us. <laughs> I don't see how this relates to the original question. Oh no, my, oh no, my brains. <laughs> I don't know. Is she a good girlfriend or not? I really have no idea. Well, the Call of Duty thing, I think that's what pushed it over to that 1.5k likes. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, uh, Healy's, what do you got? Uh, I'm I'm Daenerys Vixen, and I'm a 29 female, and cool. I cured cancer with my ass. <laughs> wow. Thank you for your service. When I was 21, I had a boyfriend in college who was always asking me to let him put it in my ass. I always said no, because I'm not super into it, and his dick was way too big to do anal with. <laughs> Longer story, but he ended up getting diagnosed with skin cancer. He was obviously feeling really down, so being a good girlfriend, I was trying to distract him. I sucked his cock, let him fuck me in every position imaginable. I wrote him begging for him to nut in me. Nothing would make him calm. So I, I heard, think it's I heard that as I wrote him begging for him to nut in me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dear sir. <laughs> So I figured, since he might die, I could at least give him my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. You know, a sympathy card might be good enough, but I, I guess, all right, I guess, all right, all right, I guess. So I bent over the arm of the couch and told him to shove it in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he was super surprised, but very eager. I remember him biting the pillow... Oh, I remember, I remember biting the pillow. <laughs> A lot of pain. But I vividly remember every pulse of his massive dick as he unloaded a huge nut into me. This definitely just isn't just a fetish story. Um, he broke up with me about six months later. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Thanks for curing that cancer. Bye-bye! Yeah. Classy. But when he went back for a second opinion, the doctor told him there was no cancer. So my ass cures cancer. Shrug. <laughs> that really was Linda Belcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, you got uh, cancer. <laughs> Uh, still uh, scrolling around just a tiny little bit on slutty confessions here, but while I do that, I'm actually going to switch over to a different subreddit. This one is called r slash swingers. Uh, so I'm going to start things off. Um, uh, come what's up. Your name is uh, open bracket deleted close bracket. But uh, but hey, it's me, HTCPL507. And then I say... Mrs. HTCPL507 here. You know, we share accounts, right? At the risk of sounding like a swinger's prude. I'm getting tired of seeing endless, unsolicited, and up-close pictures of potential playmates' genitalia. Perhaps I'm old-fashioned, fa old but I'd rather just not see a dick pic or penetration pic until I've at least seen a face or two. And in fact, I'd be fine just not seeing a genitalia pic at all and leaving the great unve unveil for the real thing. What's your view on this, my r slash swinger friends? When, if ever, do you, do you think it's appropriate to share an unsolicited dick slash vagina slash penetration pic on your website's profiles via text or by email? And Hubby and I are the only ones that want uh, and are Hubby and I the only ones that want at least something left of the imagination? I'm still <sighs> struggling with the name. Is that like Hot Corporal 507? 
I assumed it was like an HTTP protocol or something. <laughs> I, I think it's hot corporal. Security? <laughs> it's probably hot hot couple 507, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there it is. Oh, yep, totally. The lingo got the lingo. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I am open bracket deleted close bracket. I'm with pretty much everyone else who's answered. I just don't find genital photos out of context to be arousing. And would much rather see a full, clothed, full body and face photo. I do often enjoy it when guys post photos in their briefs that show the outline of their hard-on. To me, that's much sexier. There was precisely one time, shortly after I'd exited a dead bedroom relationship, Mm -hmm. when I was actually really turned on by a dick pic a guy sent me. Met up, made out, enjoyed sucking his cock, was dying to have him inside me. Mm. Mm. And then he told me he couldn't keep it up with a condom on. Okay. Deep six, obviously. <laughs> what a letdown. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yep. Yep. Midwest Swingers here. And uh, based on our experiences, those who send close up pics like that, they're usually overweight and want to deceive you in a way. Oh. Sort of like how a girl takes a close-up pic of her huge breasts, but you can kind of just tell what the rest looks like. Oh, Same really? when a guy takes a close-up pic of his dick. Sure, I'm sorry. <laughs> sure, he can have a huge dick, but what's he hiding? <laughs> a second smaller dick. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> hey, man, nice dick. Oh, uh, I'm I'm doing I'm doing okay here on r slash r slash swingers, uh, but I keep going back to uh, to r uh, slash slutty confessions. Found one here, uh, JT. If you'll take that one, please. Okay. Um, my name is you, good girl, eighteen. I'm a female, eighteen year old, and um, I I touched my little clit with the windows open. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I came home from exhausting classes and I'd been so, so, so incredibly horny. My <laughs> jeans were too tight. So whenever I walked or sat down, my swollen clit would rub against it and it just mm. made me want to lock myself in the bathroom mm. and rub okay. the achy feeling away. Oh, are you are you ill? <laughs> Perhaps. I don't know. Even though... I do like the feeling of my clit throbbing. Mm, okay. When I got home, I took my jeans off and surprise, surprise, I noticed I ruined my pink panties. They Wait, were what? so what? The, what? Uh, what? The sweet what? cream. I don't know. They were so <laughs> wet. Yeah. I started rubbing my pussy in circles and when I couldn't take it anymore, I took my panties off. I was feeling naughty and way too horny. <laughs> Felt like my princess parts were on uh, fire. What? Uh, oh, what? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I swear <laughs> I could have humped anything. Anyway, I decided to open up my windows and sit directly in front of them while making myself feel good. I couldn't stop whimpering or pleading for my pussy to not come too fast, but oh my, I came so hard. Wait, my eyes what? literally rolled back. Yeah. Uh, I can't really handle big emotions, and after an orgasm, I always cry a little, so I did that afterwards, less than three. That's my thread. Wow. Yeah, that, cool. Excellent. Wow. Hey, hey, what's going on, F+, plus? My name's Coley (laughs) Wong. Neighbor has no idea I'm fucking a husband. (laughs) My neighbor's been cheating on his wife with me for the past year. We were both working from home during the pandemic, and I started going over to their house and talking to them, at, him at the front door, just telling him about my day and asking about his. What? What the fuck kind of... 
hey, how was your day? Oh, it's a Janice was mean to me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, we had turned those into everyday short chats, just checking on each other. One day he actually came over to my door and I invited him in. We we actually had a great time talking, and while we was sitting on the couch, I started complimenting him. Uh, he did the same to me, uh, and soon enough, we was making out. He took me right there, and I can remember putting on his... Mm, I remember putting on his wedding ring as he fucked me and came on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm real. Yeah, this is real. Yep. <laughs> Uh, this has been going on for the past year, and, and recently uh, I started talking to his wife outside the house. <laughs> they have a really cute dog. We talked about dogs and how everything was going for a little bit. I almost felt guilty knowing that a husband's cock had been inside me more times in the last year than it had been in her for at least like three I brought up a conversation, and the next time her husband came over, the next time her husband came over to fuck me, I told him I, she didn't suspect a thing, and he got really turned on by that. He pounded me, and I made sure to send him back to his wife with empty balls. <laughs> I still yep, do see the wife. Yeah, yeah, it's just empty. Just <laughs> you, you hear him deflate. <laughs> Let me get a, put the bicycle pump in there. Um, I still do see the wife around sometimes, and I like talking to her. But she has no idea what I'm up to with her sexy ass husband. <laughs> and then, yeah, Reddit's just, ah, that's really hot. Uh, J.D. Friedman, you found something great. What do you want to read there? Um, well, I've always wondered if I had a pretty or, like, good-looking vagina. Um, oh. Now! Nah! <laughs> Oh, all vaginas are beautiful, but as societal standards are like, there is a beauty standard for everything. That being said, like, very symmetrical vaginas are typically, like, more attractive to most eyes, you know? Yeah, and yeah. I just have literally always wondered the genuine, honest opinion on it. I have asked people... But I feel like it wasn't genuine because they were trying to appease me or something. Laughing face. Just thought I'd get it off my chest because honestly, it's a pressing issue. I think mine no, looks not. like objectively looks super nice, but maybe I am just being biased to laughing face is the end. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, just want to mention here that, uh, in the, uh, in the stream, uh, we seem to be up here to $7,422 and 33 cents. Uh, thank you so much to all of you who is donating. Um, if you look in the stream, you've got, uh, you've got their, uh, King Lou Fernandez, uh, on the pens. Um, he will be producing an hour, uh, called Lou Reads, uh, uh, later on, uh, in the marathon. Uh, and, and that podcast actually had its own uh art uh so lou had drawn uh its own episode art um for uh for that podcast and uh he is giving it to you uh so i have uh set up uh five of these in here uh and if you are interested uh there is the one that i just threw up uh as the thumbnail on the stream uh you can go ahead and uh own any uh any original uh Lou Reed's art drawn by Lou Fernandez. Uh it is it is all yours. Uh you might have to have a conversation about which one you want, uh, but you'll take care of that. It'll be fine, it'll be great. Everything's really, really good, except for the bottom of the stock. So instead, um we're gonna turn to Achilles Healy's uh because Achilles Healy's uh has something else for us. Oh oh yeah, I mean um, hold on. I, I cheated on my finance and I fucking loved it. Oh Lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm cheating on my taxes. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm claiming five dependents. Oh, we have been together for eight years. We were extremely loyal until recently when one of my friends told about how great infidelity feels. <laughs> I hated so much that I stopped talking with them. But they got me in the end. The taboo, tension, intensity, and sex was out of the world. <laughs> Which one? 
<laughs> just the world. Okay. I never felt this good and this euphoric, and neither did I came so hard so many times. <laughs> okay. Feeling warmth of strangers' embrace, kissing them romantically, making out, surrendering myself to their dicks. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling the warmth and pleasure when they come I inside me and on my like mouth is a... too good. <laughs> it's so fucking disrespectful and so gross that it's unbearably hot. <laughs> it feels amazing being so bad. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, uh, thank you uh, for your $30 donation, uh, Naturalist Beast. Uh, like I said, you will be uh, having a conversation with uh, Lou Fernandez about which one you want. Also this. Also, it's been a while. I want to do a couple of these because like, as I've said, uh, we've got uh, our total here at uh, $7,452.33. But let's see what that means. Uh, in Katamari. So, for example, uh, we know that our total is worth uh, 677 paperback copies of The Haunted Vagina. Wow. You know, just kind of to put that whole thing um, into uh, perspective. Um, uh, and also, uh, that uh, total is also worth... Let's see what this button does now. It is also worth 212 characters. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for the <laughs> network of abortion funds <laughs> thanks to thanks to all of you uh we have so far raised 212 gallons of ranch dressing i don't even know what's happening what's happening next what's happening next help me out help me out here hi 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 i'm you deleted okay all right great Last summer, I bought a Harry Potter wand in Universal Orlando. Yeah. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, and yeah. I've used this as dildo many times. ATM, I'm Wait using it as a butt plug. Lol. Wait a minute. I've seen those Harry Potter wands. You got an interestingly shaped vagina. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Is it pretty, though? Yeah. Is it symmetrical? <laughs> Um, I'm, uh, looking here on r slash swingers, uh, and they've got, uh, uh, um, there's a post here and I'm actually going to just post, uh, the title into, uh, I'm going to post the title into, uh, the stream, uh, because it is, uh, important. Um, so, uh, shit, hang on, hang on. Almost there. Almost there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I just want to, um, uh, this is the actual title. Um, that they've uh, they've put in the in the subreddit. Good grammar, spelling, punctuation, and other clues to no connection. Hmm. Yep. No. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, um, uh, uh, J.W. Friedman just posted something. Um, uh, Bump girl, if you'll just uh, read that, please. Oh wait, no, Bump girl, you're on mute. Uh, don't be on mute. I can yeah. easily become unmuted. That's, Hell yeah. Take it. That's how clicking works. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Epilepsy killing my sex memories. F25. <laughs> All I remember about yesterday with my boy toy is that we had some amazing sex. Okay. okay. I don't remember any details about it because my handy dandy epilepsy made me have a seizure last night and now I have some short term memory loss. Something tells me a booty hole was licked, but that's <laughs> just a hunch. <laughs> Who licked the booty hole? <laughs> so I think I'll take advantage of the situation and ask him to describe it for me, his favorite part, etc. Maybe talking about it will make us do it all over again. Yeah, Hopefully, minus the seizure this time. I just picked that because of booty hole. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Something tells me a booty hole was licked, but it's just a hunch. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. Uh, just, just one more thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Detective Munch, I think a booty hole was licked. 
this this post this is a post uh by uh a user named uh whole artichoke uh 2613 uh and uh and it is called uh unicorn um uh me and my boyfriend had a threesome tonight and it didn't go so well <laughs> to start I never, I have never had a threesome before a couple weeks ago. The first time was hot and I loved it. Tonight was the same girl. And I know because it wasn't, I wasn't in the right frame of mind. I got a little jealous because I felt uh, he didn't want to do anything to me. He ate me out a couple times and was looking at me the whole time. But uh, today that wasn't enough. He didn't have sex with me until the girl told him to. And that was the end. After she went to bed, we stayed up to talk because I knew he knew I was off. I did explain to him my feelings and told him I should have listened to my gut, but said not tonight. I had a hard day and was very much an emotional mess. He is very turned off by this and doesn't want to ever do it again. How do I fix this relationship between What? What? This is a relationship that needs repair. Let's go back. Come on, come on, come on. How do we make this work? Hey, random people I fucked once. Um, uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, looking, uh, once again, uh, here at the stream, I got Naturalist Beast, uh, still with that donation. I'm going to reset because there are more, uh, Lou Reed's pieces of episode art, uh, that you, uh, can claim for yourself. Uh, and I'm also definitely what, here's what I found. <laughs> Here's what I'm not doing is I'm not killing time. I'm gonna hit the show comparative item button, <laughs> and uh, and when I and when I do that thing, um, uh, oh hey, uh, seven thousand four hundred fifty-two dollars is worth one hundred and fifty-eight shillelaghs from BudK. Uh, dot com. J W Friedman, what did you just find? Ah, oh, well, um, I'm I'm hoping that someone out there can give me all the lingerie recommendations. Um. <clears throat> How many do you need, lady? Hi, y'all. My partner, M and I, F, are dipping our toes into the lifestyle, and we found a club we're planning to join that has some great theme nights. Yay! Only issue, we spent the last few years being complete shut-ins, and most of my cute, sexy undergarments were either donated, lost, Ugh. or no longer fit. Ugh. I found it. <laughs> don't donate underwear. Don't donate. As I say this as somebody that's no stranger to the goodwill. Do not donate underwear. Ever. I found a couple fun rave sites that have some plus size items and will take any and all suggestions, but I try to avoid fast fashion slash Amazon where I can for ethical reasons. So, plus plus, if you know a great sustainable brand, I prefer bright happy colors to the standard black where I can. So, anyone have any great suggestions for fun, colorful, size inclusive lingerie? Also, my partner needs nicer underwear than his standard boxer briefs as well, so menswear recommendations appreciated too. Places I've already looked into Savage X Fenty, Smart and Sexy, Adore Me, and Coop. <laughs> Coop. <laughs> Coop. <laughs> Uh, uh, can, can someone you're, help you're, me before yeah. before we move on? Oh um, uh, yeah, yeah. Rave sites, like maybe I I'm a more of a shut in here or just like too much of a '90s person. But why are rave selling underwear? Oh! I feel like is it like is it like uh like uh, like raver pants that are also uh <laughs> stockings? Well, I, I like, like to wear Jenkos to bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey baby, I got my kickwear on. <laughs> 62 inch ankle openings. Like little like 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 baby susu like necklaces and <laughs> stuff like that and candy mm -hmm. bracelets and yeah, yeah, real hot. Lingerie real hot. made out of candy bracelets. I guess, I mean, yeah, that makes sense because like edible panties exist, right? So like just panties actually made out of candy bracelets. That, that. Sure, why yeah. not? Yeah, I mean, it's as good an idea as the other thing. Just a baby doll t-shirt with a Pepsi logo on it? Sure, mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, very mm -hmm. hot, very hot. Uh, uh, Bump Girl, um, uh, you have a question you wanted to ask? Um, yeah, I, I, well, I've been thinking about this thing, like this yeah. swinger thing has really got me like, questioning uh, uh, a lot of like potential here. So I just need to know first, is my clit 
big enough for swinging. <laughs> Does your clit swing low? <laughs> well, you got to stand next to the sign at the front of the ride. So, <laughs> so I am a 21F um, with a boyfriend who is a 47M, and mm. that's totally cool and everything. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. Um, yeah, it's very nice. real. Yep. Fine. Uh, we've been together for two days off and on. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I, I can see how you want to spice up this relationship. Yeah, we really <laughs> want to save our relationship by swinging. Uh, so I've been looking at swinger, <laughs> swinger porn We've been together for two. How good is this guy at fucking with you? <laughs> that you've been together for two days and he's like, I think we probably, you know, it's getting a little stagnant. I think we might need to see some other people. Uh, hey, how do you know that wasn't me? Like, yeah, uh, he's like 47. Maybe he can't yeah, get it up anymore. Yeah, and like, these yeah. two days have been hard. Yeah. Like, I've been wanting to fuck, but like, I've Fair had enough. to look at swinger porn for research. Oh, And sure. that's when I got a little like, I noticed all the females have clits that are the size of the 10 uh, millimeter sockets I used to steal and hide on my ex. What? So, um, 10 millimeter sockets. Uh, oh my, this is written by a dude. Alarm bells just went off when uh, the word females was employed. <laughs> it's also apparently a joke that I it, I do not understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 10 millimeter socket. Yeah, no, I can't. It's it a socket wrench? I have no idea. But if, uh, And like when you hide it on your ex, you know, you can be like, oh, someone hid my keys on me. Ha 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 ha. But maybe you could hide a 10 millimeter socket like on their body? Yeah, yeah. The thing I, I think of is I knew people that would use little sockets for like bowls, you know, for like like stuffing smoke. their balls into. <laughs> no, no, for, for smoking <laughs> weed, bro. For smoking weed, for bowls. Smoking weed. <laughs> okay. Well, I I need to finish this 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 post because right. like there's there's more and hmm. I, I, I you don't have all the information, so you can't help me make this decision yet. My clit is only four point seven millimeters when fully erect. And partly hidden by my hood. And I'm really insecure. Do you think I could find a guy who would want that? 4.7 millimeters is very, very specific. Like, your clit measuring implements are, like, exemplary. You're really good at measuring your clit. Well, you know, I have calipers to go with the sockets. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. And uh, JT, a sw a swirl gang. Swirl gang has a response. Ah, yes. Hello. I am Swirl Gang456773. Uh, seriously, don't beat yourself up. It's so tough for us women watching mm. all that porn. It's really mm. hard to know mm. what a real average clit looks like. My best friend's husband left her for a big clit babe, so you absolutely should be worried. Oh, okay. WTF123. Ladies, it's not the size of the clit that matters. It's how you use it. Unless single females. In that case, eight millimeters or more. Just girls talking about girl stuff. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and then uh, scrolling down uh, to the uh, end of this document, by which I mean scrolling well past the long story titled I Fucked My Mom at a Swingers Masquerade Party. Uh, no. Scrolling, scrolling way past that, uh, we instead are on a website called Yahoo Answers. Yay. 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 Oh. <laughs> Woo. Yahoo. Uh, so I think, uh, JT, uh, if you'll just take the original post there. Okay. Uh, Yahoo answers. I am a user who has been deleted. Uh, hot swinger friend wants to fuck me. Am good looking, but insecure about my penis and still a virgin at 21. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm okay. a good looking guy with just one insecurity about myself, which is my penis dot, 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 dot. It's average at around 5.5 inches, but I think it's small and a girl will see it and laugh, dot, 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 dot. Mm -hmm. It's 5.5 erect and shrinks a lot, sometimes when flaccid, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> well, this swinger girl I know who is pretty hot really wants to asterisk, 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 asterisk me, dot, 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 dot. Should I go for it or what? Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> she has a lot more experience. <laughs> and <laughs> <I'm> a lot. <laughs> She has a lot more experience and I'm afraid it'll come too quickly. Dot, 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 dot. New knows I'm a virgin either. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> which I think has led me to become socially awkward in some situations because I think my penis is small. Dot, 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 dot. Help! 
I hope it's you can. Socially awkward and <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I hope we can help. I'm going to name my first child awkward. <laughs> I like that. I like that this person uh, notes that that uh, that he has a five point five inch uh, penis when it's erect, uh, but it's smaller uh, when it's flaccid. Oh. Just good information to know. Yeah. And then uh, JW, you've oh, got oh, a response there. Sorry. Oh gosh, sorry. Um, I'm Chi Chi M, and a woman's satisfaction does not only result from deep penetration, but from yeah. stimulation of the vulva. Yeah. Your 5.5 is more than enough to make any woman sigh with pleasure. If you want to <laughs> do it, <laughs> uh, uh, if you want to do it, go for it. Just remember to use some protection. <laughs> My name is Cal. Man, cut yourself some slack. I have a penis or size, and my <laughs> girlfriend doesn't give up about it. As a model, she's pretty hot. And as long as you can kiss Gwood, she'll <laughs> fall for big penis or not. Um, that was, uh, the episode that was originally supposed to be about swingers. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we got our total up to $7,452.33. Thank you to, uh, Lou Fernandez, uh, for the disappointing three-way repair kit. Uh, when we come back into the next hour, we are going to have Gnusik. It's a very, very strange website about like musical opinions it's incredibly strange and Healy's has been wanting to do it for a long time yeah. uh so Healy's is going to be hosting that hour with adam bozarth bump girl bunny bread jack chick and shell game uh thanks to lou we're gonna have uh, king calamari up next on the pens and we'll talk to you soon uh take a lap everybody uh you know we got plenty of ways to go we will i need to find the i wait i should have don't actually have the thing open to end the stream, but I'm about to there.